Let's take a look at uh, our new Power BI reports. Uh, our rep Power BI reports are created for standard areas. Um, these are sales, receivables, uh, finance, inventory, payables, and purchase. Uh, when you choose to get our new Power BI reports, you will get the following Power BI desktop files uh, with full editability. And uh, we will now take a look at the design of those reports. So let's just jump into it. So uh, basically the reports consist of standard pages um, that are provided here. We are looking at the receivables report now. Um, all of the reports will start with a general overview and then they go to the yearly level and um, then to the specific areas in, in those uh, reports. So in receivables, we can take a look at uh, open receivables, the receivables details, and um, receivable aging. But uh, you can customizely um, add any new page and design them by your choice. So um, we were looking for a standard solution. Uh, so the, the other reports, are uh, look uh, uh, are taking the same uh, um, template. So here is the sales overview um, and the sales by year, and then the application areas in the sales report. So um, to provide the most meaningful view of your data actually checked out all of the visuals from the Microsoft um, Marketplace. So there's currently um, 150 visuals and, um, and counting. Um, and we also tried a few of the payable ones, which can be uh, really useful for specific uh, specific uh, data and analyzations. So this is uh, an example of a payable report. However, we wanted to standardize uh, our solution. So in the end, we decided to primarily um, uh, use the standard visuals as they best served our design goals. So uh, let's go back to the sales uh, report and just let me show you the general idea of how, how they, are, they were designed. So um, we were trying to keep in mind uh, best design practices to really create reports that are clear and minimalistic and without extra clutter. So uh, going by this principle, uh, the arrangement is the following. Like on the upper left corner uh, is the, the, tile, uh, the title of the page, then, then the date filter, when you can fil filter uh, the report by the desired um, time period and then uh, are the most used from our experience um, KPIs. So you can of course change them with, with your own. And uh, on the right hand side uh, you will have the uh, tables and, and a few um, uh, visuals for, by which you can filter the data on uh, the main area, which are the diagrams with the measures. And um, those are then separated into three areas, um, which are color coded uh, with uh, Microsoft, um, uh, um, Microsoft color, color uh, standard color library. Uh, the lead color will be green, the uh, secondary color will be yellow, and the uh, uh, tertiary color will be most likely blue or orange. And um, as you can see, the, the, the diagrams um, are showing the data for the specific areas. And in the upper right corner of the diagrams, uh, there is a summation of the uh, data in the diagram by the uh, chosen time period. Uh, we've also uh, tried to use the visual cues. For example, when you're looking at the data on the, um, on the monthly level, you will be looking at the charts uh, with line charts. And when you're looking on, at the data on the yearly level, uh, which is a bit more condensed um, and 
a bit stronger, you will be looking at bar charts. So to get this uh, idea in, in the back. So um, anyway, um, as you know, Power BI is very flexible. So uh, with just a, a few clicks, you can change any measure. For example, uh, if uh, for your specific needs, um, there is not, not so much need for invoice quantity to be in the overview, but you want to, uh, let's say, um, have a, a average sales cost or average sales price, you can simply uh, remove the sales invoice quantity and add the average sales cost and average sales price and voila, the report is updated. Uh, I mean, the visual is updated. Um, you just need to um, switch the title and the same goes for the dimensions. If, for example, you would wish uh, to have, uh, instead of country, let's say salesperson to filter through your data. You just add salesperson to the uh, visual table, delete the country, and then you can click on and filter your data by the report. So uh, I've shown you the general idea of the most of the reports. However, there is a specific report, uh, which is finance, uh, where the measures are uh, linked to um, GL accounts. So uh, for your business, you will have to specify, let's, let's just open it, uh, in the calculated measures, let's uh, take a look at cost of goods sold. Here you'll get the um, measure details. So here you'll need to specify your correct GL account numbers for the measures to um, produce the, the correct values. Uh, so here you can see uh, 7,100 to 7,799. And um, yes, once you, you will do that, this will be uh, the finished report, which you can publish uh, to your service and use it and share with uh, the users. So. Uh, this is the end of the report part. And now um, Laden will take over with the Power BI service. Thank you, Mark. Good. So uh, let me rephrase again. Uh, the first part of the offering is uh, uh, a set of Power BI reports, uh, six of them. Uh, they are running either against Cube or against the data warehouse, and the source can be AX or NAV. So these reports do not connect directly to AX or NAV because they cannot do so much transformation as we would like our customers uh, to have. So it's much more transformation that we can do in that warehouse uh, as we can do uh, in Power BI modeling. The second part of the offering from today uh, is uh, access, actually. So you don't get anything physical, uh, but it's access to the uh, dashboards that uh, are available on the web. So, for example, this is uh, a sales report uh, on a desktop, and uh, I, I publish this report to Power BI service. So, if I click publish, so this report is available uh, in my Power BI account as one of these reports. So, you see, we have six reports here together with the reports. Uh, uh, Power BI takes also the data source. There is a gateway to update. So everything is ready and running to be published on the web, mobile, and on the mobile. Now, with this uh, set of objects, then we create an app application within a Power BI, which has this set of data, and then we invite you. So what do you actually see or get with these uh, dashboards? So let's go into my original view first. And to explain what are the dashboards, our uh, set of visuals that we uh, publish from the report, uh, but we still want to keep them around the uh, application area. So uh, I would not use a dashboard on a web, because for a web usage, the Power BI web is much better. Uh, but the dashboard is much better uh, used in my, uh, let's have a look into my uh, iPad. Just open iPad. 
Okay, here we are. So we, uh, let me close the iPhone that is on the left. So what do I have here? I'm transferring the picture from my iPad that is here on the right and my iPhone that is here on the left into the screen that you can see, but actually I want to show you the experience that we have. Uh, and uh, let's have a look. Now, uh, I'm touching the dashboards now and I would like to analyze sales current month. So this kind of uh, dashboard will pop up. And, uh, and the, the data here are gr grouped around the uh, business process like analyzing profit, analyzing sales, uh, comparing data to the previous periods uh, and uh, looking into some specific details at the bottom. So this is experience that you have with the tablet and I can admit that we could put more measures uh, or visuals into this view. Just have a look into sales current year it offers same experience. So it's very important, same colors across all uh, tools, uh, same uh, appearances, same uh, same logic everywhere. So you can easily and fast uh, understand what's going on. But actually, if I would be using a tablet, I, actually the tablet, the iPad is big enough. So actually even uh, if I run a report, uh, th this works for me just fine. So actually, this is directly clicking uh, dashboard and showing it on my uh, iPad. It takes a little more uh, because the data are, are richer and bring a little more kilobytes into the screen. Okay, we have it. And the, the benefit of reports uh, uh, are that reports are interactive. So if I click into one of the visuals with some dimension and slice it, then all the data would change immediately, which I cannot do if I'm using a dashboard. Now, uh, let me close you now. Uh, and, uh, and of course, you, you get the dashboards for all application area, as well as you get the dashboard for uh, all uh, reports for all application area. The dashboards are uh, designed about a fixed or predefined time dimension, day dimension, that's very important. So we have here a current month here. Uh, let's see this one here, current year and on and on. It doesn't make sense that you analyze current year and current month in the same dashboard. This would not be the best approach. Usually it works better if you separate it. Now, let me close this uh, here. And let, let us focus on experience with uh, iPhone, which is I'm using it on a daily basis with our BF for Dynamics data. We we are using BF for Dynamics for sure. So here we have, and this is works. It works really, really, really nice and really, really, really fast. So I have like seven uh, dashboards, and I'm clicking into the sales current month, and I see on the top uh, the most important net sales previous month. The same experience. I mean the same uh, data as with tablet, but a little more condensed and uh, quite good for uh, user experience. Now if if you may complain, let's say that this net sales uh, index is too small, and this is not really a problem because I click here, it expands into one, and I will put into horizontal. You see how good the data express, uh, shown here are. So you will never have a big issue if some of the uh, visuals are more condensed or smaller. Uh, I like a lot a table tables. These show all the details and nicely colored, give you, uh, you know, focus on good or bad things uh, in your uh, table with the colors. And uh, then uh, profits, for example, comparison with previous periods, deals, uh, and on. And uh, usually on the bottom, I always uh, put tables because when you are okay, we, we, when you are not happy with the top figures, you want to see the details, these details are below in the table. So we consult our customers this approach and uh, it has been quite popular, I would say. Uh, the same one is here for the current year from time to time, like uh, current month, you would look into this data daily. On current uh, year, 
you would probably not look into this data every day because they do not change so much every day but the design and everything is the same the same uh, uh, information we provide for all other application area and it's up to you to decide the size of the visual where you would position uh, are, do you want to see for example uh, sales against full month or uh, year to date uh, and similar so this is just working fine and uh, what our offering is, we provide this as a part of the BI for Dynamics project, but what we offer you, if you are a customer or a prospect customer, that you can zoom these reports. So how does this work? With that, uh, with that uh, Power BI account that I have shown you, we can invite you into this uh, app and you can, with your Power BI Pro account, have the experience on our demo data how things work. So it's not that we automatically transform your data into your visual uh, and your your Power BI. I mean, sure, we have to create all this Power BI gateway and things, but the experience is the same. Sometimes this is so overwhelming that you really want to have a, 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 the whole uh, Power BI project because it really brings, brings a lot of benefits to the uh, organization. Um, so, um, this was uh, about uh, technology. Let me just give you a few words about how to uh, get these uh, reports uh, and uh, dashboards. Um, just a second. Uh, let me just uh, close this and go back to my uh, PowerPoint. Okay. So um, we provide the Power BI reports uh, that Mark showed. Uh, free of charge to existing customers that are active on enhancement and to active partners. And uh, if you want to have experience uh, with our Power BI dashboards, then also if you are our existing part customer or active partner, you get this success. Uh, and uh, we provide this also to a prospect customer, so, so you don't need to be a BF for Dynamics uh, customer. If you want to have more information, check it on our webpage uh, under Power BI section, or you can drop us an email uh, mg at or ml at